Aloha, I'm Kiana Kayabyab, and here are today's top Hawaii headlines from the editors at the Honolulu Star Advertiser. The Waimanalo couple indicted in the death of their six-year-old adopted daughter, Isabella Ariel Kalua, appeared at their circuit court arraignment today to plead not guilty to second-degree murder and other charges related to the girl's disappearance. Lehua Kalua and Isaac Sunny Kalua III appeared before Judge Christine Kuriyama via video from the Oahu Community Correctional Center. On November 17th, an Oahu grand jury indicted the couple on charges of second-degree murder, abuse of a family member, persistent non-support, endangering the welfare of a minor, and hindering prosecution. Lehua and Isaac Kalua's court-appointed attorneys entered not guilty pleas to the charges on their behalf. Judge Kuriyama scheduled their trial for January. The Kaluas are being held without bail at the correctional facility. The Hawaii Department of Health corrected errors today in its COVID-19 vaccination data after finding that percentage of residents who have received at least one dose of a vaccine was significantly lower than what has been reported. On Thursday, the department reported that 85.4% of Hawaii's population had initiated vaccination. But health officials now say that just 77% of the state's population has received at least one dose of a vaccine. The number of Hawaii residents fully vaccinated was also reduced slightly, from 72.5% to 71.1%. The number of booster shots that have been administered increased under the new calculations by nearly 70,000 or 44 percent. Health officials said that providers had been incorrectly reporting booster shots as initial doses. Hawaii's Health Department reported 71 new coronavirus infections today, bringing the total number of cases since the start of the pandemic to 87,585. There were no new fatalities reported today, so the state's virus-related death toll remains at 1,018. Today's new infection cases include 30 on Oahu, 21 on Maui, 16 on Kauai, 3 on Hawaii Island, and one Hawaii resident diagnosed outside the state. The number of known active coronavirus cases in Hawaii fell by 30 today, to a total of 1,388. Active infections are those reported to the state in the past 14 days. The total number of hospitalized virus patients in Hawaii since the start of the pandemic is now 5,028. The Navy is investigating reports of a chemical smell in drinking water at several homes at Joint Base Pearl Harbor, Hickam. Navy officials said in a news release that residents of military housing reported the smell on Sunday. The Navy said there was no immediate indication that the water is not safe. Officials said there was no smell or sign of fuel or chemicals in the water at the Navy's water wells and water tanks. They said they are working with the Hawaii Department of Health on testing water samples and will update residents. Finally, the National Weather Service has issued a high wind warning for the summits of Hawaii Island and a wind advisory for the leeward and mountain sections of all islands until 6 p.m. today. The high wind warning includes Mauna Loa and Mauna Kea above 8,000 feet, which will see north winds of 50 to 60 miles per hour and gusts up to 65. All islands from Kauai to the Big Island are under a wind advisory due to northeast winds of 30 to 40 miles per hour, with gusts of about 55 miles per hour. Forecasters say winds this strong can blow away unsecured objects and make it difficult to drive, especially for high-profile vehicles. A mix of snow and ice is also possible over the summits of Mauna Kea and Mauna Loa through Wednesday. For more on these stories and all the latest headlines, subscribe to the Honolulu Star Advertiser. Visit Hawaii's top source for breaking news online at StarAdvertiser.com and download the Star Advertiser mobile app. Mahalo, have a great day, and we'll see you back here tomorrow. Are you ready to score big? Make sure to check out the Honolulu Star Advertiser's Football Fever every Monday through Wednesday for your official ballot to play and enter for a chance to win $500 weekly or the chance to win the grand prize, a Big Green Egg Kamado Grill. Match or beat the score and you qualify to win. Don't forget to drop off your entry at select Long's Drugs locations. Good luck! 
Special thanks to sponsors Longs Drugs, Hawaiian Telecom, and Mercedes-Benz of Honolulu.